Now, other interesting business news, you have Ford Motor Company planning to cut their EV truck production by about half. Who would have thunk it? Oh, well, me, or anyone who knows anything about towing or trucks, or really, I guess, physics in general. Now, this comes to us thanks to CNBC, Mr. Michael Wayland, the reporter over there. They know specifically this is in regard to the Ford F-150 Lightning pickup truck planning to half production in 2024. They noted that EV demand has been slower than expected as prices and interest rates remain high. But the F1, the sales of the F-150 Lightning have steadily increased. But they planned for much, much more than they needed. Also, you have the Cybertruck coming out, which, design controversy aside, personally, I, I like that. It's a little bit different. And being bulletproof, or more accurately, bullet resistant, will be a great way to rival the de traditional Detroit automotive companies, such as General Motors, Ford, as well as Chrysler, now Stellantis. They've had a majority of the truck market for decades upon decades upon decades. Now that Tesla has a truck, and the truck is actually bullet resistant, you have to say bullet resistant because there's really no such thing as bulletproof, with the right caliber and ammunition, you pretty much break through anything. But nevertheless, small arms, it's pretty good against in terms of slower moving 45 ACP bullets, where, I mean, Tesla had a brilliant marketing brigade of a bunch of videos where they highlight that capabilities of it. It's also arrow proof. So if someone shoots at it with an arrow, it will not go through. Pretty impressive. Cannot do that with an F-150. Just saying. Now, of course, when asked for, let's see here, the production, the new production plan calls for an average sales volume of about 1,600 F-150 Lightning a week at Ford Rogue's Electric EV Vehicle Center in Dearborn, Michigan, starting in January. The automotive maker recently announced plans to produce roughly 3,200 of the vehicles on average per week. But of course, demand is not that strong, especially for the F-150 Lightning. Truth be told, I have seen one face-to-face, -face and it looks like a truck. It does have that funny little bar in the front, so it's moderately different than the traditional F-150. But again, not being able to tow, that's, you know, that's not great. Now, it looks like in terms of sales figures in 2023, they know that the F-150 Lightning had a monthly record high of 4,400 units sold in November. The company has only sold 20,365 of the trucks this year through November, up 54% a year earlier. Although, eh, they also say, <laughs> Ford, this is even more hilarious, Ford spent the six weeks earlier this year to help increase the capacity of the F-150 Lightning at the Michigan plant, which it expects to have the capabilities of producing 150,000 of these EV trucks, three times the initial planned output. So they have the capability, they have the infrastructure in place, the very expensive part, actually setting up all the robots and all the things to do it, and now the only thing they lack is demand, because again, it's an electric truck. Personally, if I want a truck to actually haul things, you know, last a long time, presumably, well, you know me, I'd get a moderately vintage one that actually comes with three pedals, also known as a manual transmission, ideally with a good old diesel engine. I know those are few and far in between, unfortunately, <laughs> excuse me, unfortunately these days, but it'll be interesting to see, is the Cybertruck going to eat away at this? The uh, electric Chevy Silverado will probably be out soon for all 18 of their prospective clients who want to buy it. Again, when it comes to the EV pickup market, let's just say I'm pessimistic to say the least, but who knows? Maybe it'll be a huge, huge outlier and Ford will actually sell millions of them next year. I mean, if I were a gambling man, I'd say the Las Vegas odds are 365,000 to one or something to that effect. Let me know in the comments if you think differently or even more rare, let me know in the comments if you actually own an F-150 Lightning and if you actually enjoy the product. Why or why not? Be fascinated here, what you have to say. Again, thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Don't forget trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of December. So if you click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a comment is a great way to give me a little bit of feedback. Let me know how I can make the show better and better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe. Fight the good fight.